And how is that fastened to the front? Well, the, this part, the center part removes, and there's attachments that go in and you turn the screw, uh -huh. and it's retained that way. So it's a real easy to pop off, pop up. And you said that it improves aerodynamics when it's yeah. on? Yep. And what, how does that influence airflow at all? Well, you can see we blocked it off to this edge here. Uh huh. And then, so we are limiting the edge up to this grill. The car is still cool and capable for highway speeds and whatnot, but you have to remove it to, to run on the track. And um, is that going to be an optional piece? Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, is it only in black or will it come in different colors as well? Right now, it's all it's only in black. Because um, it matches the trim, obviously. Right, like. we want it to match the grill. Right. And we want to keep within that full width opening. We didn't want to do body color in it because then it splits the opening and doesn't isn't really in keeping with the theme of the car. So right. We're just trying to, we, would, we think offering a painted premium plate offset would be a big deal for our customer. Right, okay. Let me uh, get a couple pictures with you holding it too. Sure. Lock in. You know, this index is with the grill and then the key attachments are up in here. Okay. Well, that would make a lot of people happy. No drilling. Yeah, no drilling. Pop it right off when you're done or yep. you're out of state or at a show. It almost stays on there. Huh? And then how do people fix their license plates too? They use like a tape or... Oh, no, they'll have the sockets or the paper with the steers. Okay. The plate area is actually smooth behind that, uh -huh. and you'll just have to take and add a little bit of crown to the plate itself, right. and bend that to conform to the surface. Okay. Well, very cool. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, Kirk.